When confronted with inescapable and overwhelming violence, the mind implodes. Psychologists call it post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Its symptoms include depression, uncontrollable fear, panic, flashbacks, nightmares, aggression, violence against others, infanticide, and self-mutilation. Trauma profoundly undermines the immune system and physiological functions, as well as the mind. Fifteen years ago, elephants in South Africa were diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Since then, elephant PTSD has reached epidemic proportions. Elephants in captivity exhibit similar pernicious symptoms of psychological trauma. The condition is common to Africa and Asia. These observations are consistent with science. The entirety of biomedical research is based on a species common model. Neuroscience states that animals share with humans the same brain, same mind, consciousness, and a vulnerability to psychological assault. When subjected to genocide, imprisonment, cultural destruction, enslavement, loss of homeland, torture, and war, or in the language of elephant managers and conservationists, culls, translocation, captivity, training, human elephant conflict, crop protection, both humans and elephants experience psychological and social breakdown. Impacts of trauma are not limited to survivors. Trauma transmits socially, epigenetically, and neurobiologically. Trauma etches the mind and the body. It spreads over time and over space, from parent to child, child to child, neighbor to neighbor, and on and on. Unless the cycle of violence is stopped, trauma becomes a way of life. Trauma becomes culture. To end the perpetuation of trauma and begin to heal, elephant ways of life before colonial occupation must be reinstated. Killing and captivity must end. Ancestral habitat must be restored. This not only holds for elephants, but for wildlife everywhere and on every continent and in every ocean. Dame Daphne and Angela Sheldrick provide human exemplars for how elephant trauma survivors can heal and regain self-determination. This can be accomplished writ large by replacing human cultures of violence with an ethic of care. Elephants are near extinction. Their numbers are few. Even if they can be saved from physical extinction, elephants are at risk from psychological <clears throat> extinction. On the outside, they may look like elephants, but inside they are no longer bears of their once great civilization. Practices of captivity and management guarantee psychological extinction. And when this happens, we will weep, lost without our animal kin and helpless to stop our own destruction. <laughs>